When the Sundunka crater chain of the Reckoness Peninsula started in Iceland, the southern fissure was the one which eventually took over. And we had nine craters. And uh, the north fissure ceased to erupt after a while, and the south fissure took over. At the moment, only two, K1 and Biggie, are erupting, mostly K1. K1 being the most active, experiencing a lot of modifications in the shape of the walls because of the collapses and the continuous building of the and rebuilding and resurfacing of the walls. A lot of changes, including this one, which actually blocked partially the exit point, creating something that we call in geological terms a, a beginning of a lava tube. This is forming a lava tube the way that we know. And as you can see, there is another one to the extreme right. That is the one which is related to the biggie and the cave, which is a slightly erupting now. Cave was collapsed and it ceased to exist. Now it seems it's back, at least for a while. And I marked them for you so you can see exactly where, what I mean by these lava tubes forming gradually there. These are the two points that I'm telling. We had similar to this in the Lithicoto volcano when the exit point actually blocked and then from the lower part and then sometimes from the top part lava was flowing this is a well-known phenomenon that how the uh, lava tubes are formed this lava tube as you can see here on a diagram is forming when the crust is formed the solidified crust forms on the flow of the lava we have examples of that on the moon and on the mars and this is not unique only to the planet earth we are lucky we are seeing it in real time in iceland there are many cases in hawaii and many many other places lava caves or lava tubes are very common